Hey guys, Super Twisted here, and today's Hot Ice vlog is about the concert for a sustainable planet. So I got my ice here, I got my hot tea, so let's do it. Right, dump one, two, don't spill, don't spill. Okay, I spilled a little bit, okay. So while this ice is melting, um, I was at this concert for a sustainable planet it was at Carnegie Hall it, on the 18th of September it was in connection with the uh, climate week New York City 2017 and so uh, it was a different event rather than a lot of the typical events you have during these climate events um, and so I decided to go I've only been listening to uh, classical music for about four months now and so I said, oh, let's take the opportunity to go see um, see what's going on and, you know, merge two of my interests together. And actually, uh, I had the opportunity to see Yo-Yo Ma perform a uh, very short but very good um, two performances that he did. Um, it wasn't until his second performance that I realized, like, he's making sounds that, you know, these other people aren't able to make. And he was just on a different level. And that was pretty cool. Um, so, uh, one of the opera singers that was there did a dramatic reading of the, uh, UN Sustainable Development Goals, and so that was kind of interesting to hear somebody, um, dramatically, you know, say, you know, clean energy, and, um, you know, life on the water, it was very, <laughs> it was interesting, it was cool to see somebody do that, take a chance and, and do something like that. They did an interesting, um visualization while there was like a choir that sort of surrounded everybody and the visualization was of the carbon content that's in the atmosphere starting from i think the 1800s going up until today and so you know as as the carbon went up they went you know higher up and did different things and that was that was pretty cool um another interesting i think the best climate moment of the day before my ice melts was this uh opera about a fish who was giving a sermon and he uh he's doing a sermon and there's fish coming from all over the place and they're all really interested in hearing what he's got to say and uh there's just so many fish that are coming to hear him because they just love what he's saying and then the sermon ends and all the other fish go on about their business and they don't really take to heart the lessons that they were um, only a short few moments ago um, were really into hearing now aren't translating into doing something in their everyday life and that's I feel um, something that happens often in a lot of these events you go there and you you get worked up and you're you're ready to you know put your foot to a wall and then you know you go home to your conditioning apartment and you know just hang out or whatever uh, another interesting piece is they did this sort of interpretive dance number. Um, I'm not from, you know, I don't know high art, um, so it was a little difficult for me to understand what was going on. But it was nice to see people from different uh, artistic backgrounds trying their hand at, um, you know, talking about climate change and having a, a message about, uh, you know, what it is that we need to do. Um, so it was a it was a nice event in general. Uh, they did this really nice um, thing called the musical postcard that I'll put in the description. It's about uh, giving a young musician um, from they're from all over. It's international. Giving a young musician an opportunity. They 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 play a piece, and then they have professional artists come in and sort of do their take on it. And it's sort of a way of building um, building up these young people into better musicians. It's very interesting um, to see all that. And so uh, now that all the ice is melted, um, uh, the main part of this vlog is pretty much done. Um, just to get into the reason why I went to this concert um, is because a lot of these events are about math and numbers and science. And I like all of that. That's you know where I'm from and that's what I'm comfortable with. But to see people from the art world trying to mix um climate change and climate 
science into their art um, and what they're good at was an opportunity that I thought was worth taking. Got a chance to see Yo-Yo Ma. So I think it was a pretty good day. Um, I'm going to uh, two more events tomorrow um, that are also part of Climate Week New York City 2017. So I might do a vlog on those. It's a, it's a movie. It's actually uh, one's called Carbon Negative, and then the other event is called Climate Optimus. So that should be e interesting to see the, uh, even though, well, it should be interesting to see the uh, how they contrast from each other. But that's it. Um, I'm super twisted, and enjoy.